is uh, my lecture uh, on the selecting best uh, regression model. Uh, in the previous uh, lecture, uh, we have learned uh, how all possible model uh, involving at most uh, k minus 1 uh, regressors uh, uh, is evaluated using according to some <coughs> criteria and uh, the best model has been selected. Well, so, today uh, we will be discussing on uh, selection, uh, sequential selection. So, here instead of you know uh, evaluating uh, all possible subset uh, models, uh, we uh, I mean uh, we do not uh, evaluate all possible subset uh, uh, regression models here. Uh, here the best uh, model is uh, found by uh, adding or uh, removing one regressor in each step. So, there are three basic uh, three algorithms uh, of this type you know sequ sequential uh, selection. The uh, algorithms are uh, backward elimination and the next one is uh, uh, forward selection and the third one is uh, you know stepwise selection. Okay, so, uh, before uh, I start uh, talking on uh, a sequential uh, selection, uh, I uh, want to recall uh, a partial test uh, which uh, we discussed in multiple linear regression setup. Uh, so, we are considering the multiple linear regression setup and uh, we have uh, a model with uh, k minus 1 regressors. So, y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus beta k minus 1 x k minus 1 plus epsilon. Okay. And uh, by testing this hypothesis, like uh, H naught, which says, uh, say beta i equal to zero, uh, against the alternative hypothesis H one, which says uh, beta i not equal to zero. Uh, so, the meaning of this hypothesis is that uh, basically by testing this hypothesis, we test uh, the significance of a given regressor say x i in the presence of in the presence of other regressors in the model. Okay. So, uh, we know how to test uh, this hypothesis. Uh, we, we can either use the T uh, statistic to test this hypothesis or also, we can uh, use the extra sum of square uh, technique to test this hypothesis. Uh, well, just let me recall that thing. The first one is uh, we can test this hypothesis using the test statistic T, which is equal to beta i hat. by m s residual x prime x inverse i i. So, this is the 
i i th element of x prime x inverse and this follows we know that this follows t distribution with uh, degree of freedom n minus k and uh, we reject uh, the null hypothesis we reject h naught if uh, mod t is greater than t alpha n minus k. Okay. So, this is uh, the test using uh, t test statistic. Uh, now, uh, you know th this can be also uh, tested using the ape uh, statistic uh, that is uh, the extra sum of square uh, approach. Let me uh, talk about that. So, that is called we will say it partial F test, okay. partial F test and uh, we will be using this partial F test repeatedly today. Uh, so, what we do is that the test statistic for to test uh, H naught beta i equal to 0 against uh, the alternative hypothesis H 1 that beta i not equal to 0. The test statistic is f which is equal to uh, SS regression for the full model minus SS regression for the full model except x i. So, here you have all the regressors x 1 to x k minus 1, here you have all the regressors except uh, the regressor x i. So, this difference will give you uh, the uh, extra sum of square due to the regressor x i or uh, more, spe more precisely you can we can say that this difference is the extra regression sum of square due to uh, the regressor x i. Well, so this uh, has degree of freedom 1. So, you divide it by 1 and by m s residual that is for the full model. This follows uh, F distribution with degree of freedom 1 and uh, n minus k. Okay. And here, so this is called the partial F uh, test statistic and uh, we reject uh, H naught if this f value is small. Sorry, uh, we reject H naught uh, if f is greater than the tabulated value f alpha 1 n minus k. So, rejecting H naught means uh, accepting this one, that means uh, x i the ith uh, regressor has significant contribution to explain the variability in y uh, in the presence of other regressors in the model. Okay. So, if this difference is uh, large, if this difference is large, that means the ith regressor has significant contribution. So, if f is large, the difference is large, then f is large, f is large, then we are going to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. Okay, so, this is uh, all these things we talked uh, uh, before also. Uh, let me uh, talk about uh, the first technique that is called uh, backward elimination. Okay. 
okay so it says that the basic idea behind the backward elimination is that uh, see we are looking for the best uh, subset uh, regression model uh, the basic idea is that you start from the full model and then in each step you reject uh, the regressor which is less significant okay uh, so you, if it is a problem with four regressor variables then you start with the model with uh, model which is having four uh, regressors and then the first step you uh, remove the regressor which is less significant to explain the variability in the response variable well so this is the basic idea behind uh, the backward el elimination and uh, and there is some stopping criteria of course uh, we will be talking about that well so it says that you start with the the first thing is that you start with full model okay and then you compute partial f statistics statistic for each regressor in the presence of other regressor in the model okay so i will explain all these things let me just uh, write down the algorithm first next is see you are computing the partial f statistic for each regressor in the presence of other, other regressor so uh, if the f value is very small for some particular regressor that means that is not significant so we look for the uh, smallest partial f value the regressor with smallest partial f value is is removed from the model if the value is less than f uh, out well sometimes this f out is uh, pre uh, specified or this uh, f out is equal to uh, the tabulated value of f 0 5 1 and this error degree of freedom degree of freedom right and uh, then partial f statistic are computed for for this new model by new model i mean the model which uh, has been obtained by uh, removing the first regressor for this new model and the process repeats repeats okay and here is the stopping criteria uh, backward
elimination algorithm terminates when the smallest partial f value is uh, is greater than f out okay so uh, let me just uh, explain little bit uh, and then i'll illustrate this algorithm using uh, one example we start with the full model and then here we compute uh, the partial f statistics so this partial f statistics say for example uh, for the random variable for the regressor xi that will give the uh, uh, the partial f statistics associated with the regressor xi will give you the uh, significant or significance of the regressor xi in the presence of other regressors so this way we compute the partial f statistics for all the regressors so lower the value of f statistic indicates that the the associated uh, regressor is less significant so the next we look at the uh, smallest partial f value and if that partial f value is you know less than uh, f out or less than the tabulated value then of course we reject uh, i mean we remove that uh, regressor from the model and again you know we repeat the same process until there is uh, uh, no partial or there is uh, until uh, a step or a stage where uh, the smallest partial f statistic uh, is greater than the f out okay that means uh, the smallest one is also significant so we can't uh, remove any more uh, regressor from the from the model well let me uh, explain uh, or illustrate this uh, uh, backward elimination using one example so uh, i'll be considering the same uh, data that is the halt cement data so we have we have four regressors and one response variable and uh, uh, we'll see which one is the best uh, subset model uh, according to the backward elimination technique well uh, so what we do is that we are considering the halt cement data halt data okay so we start with the full model so we'll first fit y as a function of all the four regressors variable x1 x2 x3 x4 that means you fit the full multiple linear regression model and the fitted model is y hat which is equal to 62. Point Four one plus one point five five x one plus zero point five one x two plus zero point one x three minus zero point one four four x four. So this is the uh, fitted model, and now what uh, we want is that we want we, we look for the less less significant regressor in this model. For that, what we do is we compute the partial S F statistic associated with X one. We compute the partial F statistic associated with the regressor X two. Similarly for X three and X four. So this is the notation uh, f one two three four. Uh, this is uh, called the partial f statistic 
associated with the regressor x1 in the presence of x2, x3, x4. Similarly, also we will compute the partial F statistics associated with x2 in the presence of x1, x3 and x4 in the model and also we will compute for all the regressors. Okay. So, we will compute F3 in the presence of 1, 2, 4, we will compute F4 in the presence of 1, 2, 3. Now, let me explain how to, you know, just now we discussed uh, you know, how to compute this uh, partial uh, F statistic value. So, this can be computed uh, using, I mean this is the value of this uh, statistic. You compute SS regression for the full model. So, I will uh, use uh, some other notation like 1, 2, 3, 4, that is my full model because there are only 4 regressors in the problem and uh, by 1, 2, 3, 4, I mean that all the 4 regressors x1, x2, x3 and x4 are in the model. So, this is the SS regression for the full model minus SS regression for the model with random variable 2, x2, x3 and x4. Okay. Also, I mean instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, you can you can write x1, x2, x3, x4, x2, x3, x4. Okay. Maybe next time I will do that uh, by MS residual. MS residual for the full model that means 1, 2, 3, 4. All the 4 uh, regressors are, the, are there in that model. I mean this is the MS residual when all the 4 regressors are present in the model. Well, so what we have to do is that uh, we need uh, to, to get this one, we need uh, ANOVA table uh, for the model involving 4 regressors variable. So, here is the fitted model uh, involving 4 regressors x1, x2, x3 and x4 and here is the ANOVA table uh, for this model, for this full model. Now, the SS regression is 2667.9, right. So, I will use this value, uh, this SS regression for the full model is 2667.9 minus the SS regression for the model involving x2, x3, x4. So, again I need to fit this model, I need to fit the model uh, involving x2, x3 and x4 and here is the associated, I mean uh, the ANOVA table for this model and my SS regression for this model is 2, 6, 4, 1. Okay. So, I will use this value 2641.95. Now, this difference, you know, this difference is uh, the extra sum of square due to x1. Okay. Now, the MS residual value for the full model. Again, recall, I mean, so this is the full model and the MS residual value is. 47.86 and look at the degree of freedom here, you know uh, we have 13 data. So, the degree of total degree of freedom is 2 and uh, the residual has degree of freedom 8 because of the fact that you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 unknowns. So, you will be getting uh, 5 uh, uh, 
five uh, what is called uh, normal equations. Okay, that means five constant on residual. So thirteen minus five is equal to eight. So the residual has degree of freedom eight. Okay, and uh, hence the regression has degree of freedom four. Now what I want to say is that I will be using this MS residual. That is the MS residual for the full model. So five point nine eight. 5.98, this value is equal to 4.34, right. Now, uh, we need to compute uh, the other values also, uh, maybe I will just explain this one also F2 uh, given 134. So, f 2 in the presence uh, partial f statistics for x 2 in the presence of uh, x 1, x 3 and x 4 in the model. So, this is uh, regression, SS regression for the full model that means x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 minus SS regression for the model involving x 1, x 3 and x 4 right by MS residual for the full model that means x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. Okay. Uh, well, so let me check uh, whether I have uh, an table for this one. Yes, I have. Uh, okay, we know that this SS regression is uh, two six six seven point nine. Now I need a model involving x one, x three, x four. So here is the fitted model y equal to x one, x three, x four and uh, the ANOVA table here. So, the SS regression is 2664.94, right. So, minus 2664.93 by the MS residual for the full model that is 5.98 and this value you can check that this is close to 0 0.50. Okay. Similarly, you compute, uh, uh, I am not going into the detail for the other calculation. So, F 3 given 1 2 4, you can check that this is equal to 0 0.02 and F 4 given 1 2 3 is equal to 0 0.04. So, we have uh, all the four partial a values. The first one was uh, f 1, 2, 3, 4, that value was 4.34. Okay. Now, we have to see which one is the less significant. So, uh, uh, the smallest partial f value, now the smallest because we want to remove one regressor, the less significant regressor from the model. So, the smallest uh, that is why we look for the smallest partial f value is which one is the smallest? This one is the smallest, okay, is F 3 1 2 4 which is equal to 0 0.02. Now, we can remove this, uh, so the associated random variable is x 3. Uh, we can uh, remove the regressor x 3 from the model. Uh, provided that uh, this uh, observed uh, partial f value is uh, is uh, less than the tabulated value so the tabulated value or f out here is uh, is 
is f 0 0.05. So, it took alpha equal to 0 0.5 and the degree of freedom of this partial f statistics you know it follows uh, f distribution with degree of freedom 1 and the error degree of freedom for the full model for the full model the error degree of freedom is 8. Okay. So, it follows f 1 8. So, we will find the value of f 1 0 5 1 8 which is equal to 5.32. Now, this one is the smallest partial f value which is f 3 associated with x 3 1 2 4 this one is less than the tabulated value. So, so x 3 is insignificant uh, we can uh, remove x 3 from the model. So, we can so we remove x 3 from the model. Now, what we do is that uh, once x 3 is uh, removed from the model we are uh, left with x 1, x 2 and x 4. So, we fit a, a model between the uh, between the response variable and x 1, x 2 and x 4. right? So, we fit uh, list square equation or model between y and x 1, x 2, x 4 right? and the fitted model is y hat equal to you can check that you, you have the data. So, you know how to you know how to fit uh, multiple linear regression between y and x 1, x 2, x 4 that is 71.65 plus 1.452 x 1 plus 0 0.416 x 2 minus 0 0.237 x 4. Right? So, this is the model after removing x 3 from the full model. Well, now again what we do is that we will try to see whether we have uh, a regressor which is less significant in the presence of other regressors. So, what we do is that we compute uh, three partial f values and there f 1 what is the significant I mean to check whether x 1 is significant in the presence of x 2 and x 4 we compute this partial f statistics 1 2 4 right. We also compute uh, f 2 in the presence of 1 4 and f 4 in the presence of 1 2 and we again we look for the the smallest partial f value and which one is uh, if that is again you know less than the f out then we remove that uh, regressor from the model. So, we will keep on doing that uh, well. So, what is this value? This value again you know I, I would like to explain uh, in detail uh, this one is obtained by computing. So, there is a little difference you know I that is why I want to discuss this uh, discuss this one in detail. So, here you compute S S regression for the model x 1, x 2, x 4. 
So, this is the SS regression when the model involves x1, x2 and x4 minus SS regression when the model involve only x2 and x4. So, this difference will give you the contribution the extra sum of square or extra regression sum of square due to x1 and this divided by ms residual sorry yes ms residual for the model x1 x2 x4 so see now this this ms residual is not any more for the full model it now at this moment our full model is involving three regressors x1 x2 and x4 right so to get this value again uh, x1 x2 and x4 yes i have one anova table for that okay so here is the fitted uh, equation x1 x2 x4 and here is the anova table now you can check that the total degree of freedom is 12 this is same now the residual has degree of freedom 9 because uh, we have 1 2 3 4 unknown parameters so 13 minus 4 is equal to 9 right so this is the ss regression for this model and this is the ms residual we are going to use this ms residual now right we are not going to use we are not going to use this ms residual that is for the model involving all the four regressors right so at this moment my full mom, full model is this one so ss regression is uh, 2 6 6 7 point 79 i don't know the value of this one okay uh, you can check that you fit a model between y and uh, x2 and x4 you find out the SS regression value that will be 2657.9 and the MS residual value is 5.33 it is not 5.98 okay this one is equal to 1.86 no i did a uh, mistake here uh, this one is not 2657 it is uh, 1846.88 the final value here is equal to 154.01 right now you can check that uh, the value of this partial f statistic is equal to 1.86 the value of this partial f statistic is equal to 5.03 so the smallest uh, partial f value is this one that means if this f is you know less than the tabulated value then we are going to remove x4 from the model because this partial f statistics is associated with x4 right uh, so let me write down the smallest partial f value f four one two is equal to one point eight six and the tabulated value is f point zero five with degree of freedom 1 and here now the error degree of freedom is not 8 it is uh, it is 9 because see this is our full model at this moment and the error degree of freedom is or sorry residual degree of freedom is uh, 9 okay 
the residual degree of freedom is 9 and this value is equal to 5.12 and this is the f out. Now, again the uh, partial f value associated with x 4 is uh, less than this one. So, what we do is that we remove we remove x 4 from the model. Okay. So, the next step uh, what we do is that see we, are, uh, we have uh, we initially we started with x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. Then in the first step we have removed x 3 from the model. In the second step we have removed uh, x 4 from the model. Now we are left with x 1 and x 2. So, we now we fit uh, least square equation y hat equal to f x 1 x 2 and this y hat is going to be equal to okay so that means we are uh, trying to i mean we will fit uh, uh, a model involving x1 and x2 only and the fitted model is uh, y hat equal to 52.58 plus 1468 x1 plus 0 0.6 to x 2. Okay. So, you know how to how to fit uh, you know how to find the unknown parameters. Now, again see uh, we are having a model with uh, involving x 1 and x 2. Now, we need to check whether again we can uh, we can remove any more regressors from this model. That means, we have to check the significance of x 1 in the presence of x 2 and also we have to check the significance of x 2 in the presence of x 1. So, we need to compute uh, two partial f statistics. One is f partial f statistics for associated with x 1 in the presence of x 2 and the other one is partial f statistics associated with uh, uh, x 2 in the presence of x 1. Right? Uh, this can be done like f 1 2 this one is equal to s s regression involving x 1 and x 2 in the model minus s s regression involving x 2 in the model and this one you know basically this divided by the degree of freedom is 1 by m s residual for the model involving x 1 and x 2. Okay. Uh, well, I do not think that I have uh, ANOVA table for this one, uh, okay. but you can check that you fit a model between y and uh, x 1, x 2. Uh, we have the fitted model is it uh, just now we have uh, fitted it. So, once you have the fitted model you can compute the SS uh, residual and then uh, you know the SS total is same so, then you can get the SS regression value right. Uh, so, the SS regression you can check that this is equal to 2657.9 minus you fit a model between y and x 2 the fitted model is going to be y equal to 57.4 plus 0.789 x 2. Okay. So, I am giving you the fitted model. Now, you can check that SS regression value is equal to 1809.4 and the MS residual for the model involving x 1 and x 2 is 5.8 that you can check. 
Okay. So, the partial A value is going to be 146.52 and similarly you can check that F21. So, the partial F statistics, uh, F statistic uh, associated with the random uh, associated with x2 in the presence of x1 is equal to 208.58. Now, these partial A values are um, large. Uh, so, still we will check you know uh, the smallest partial A value, the smallest partial A value is which one is smallest f 1 2 f 1 2 which is equal to 146.52 and we compare this value with the tabulated value that is f 0 0.05 with degree of freedom 1 and if there are two regressors in the model uh, then uh, if there are two regressors in the model, then uh, the number of uh, unknown parameters is equal to 3. So, the residual degree of freedom will be 13 minus 3. So, that is 10 okay. and this value is equal to 4.96, but, but this one is not, not smaller than this one. So, uh, that means, uh, the model we have at this moment involving x 1 and x 2, uh, both are significant. I mean, uh, both x 1 is significant in the presence of x 2 and similarly, x 2 is also significant in the presence of x 1. That is why their partial F statistic value are large and uh, we cannot remove any of them from the model. Uh, so, the backward elimination algorithm terminates here. Okay. So, here we say that the backward elimination algorithm terminates and yields the equation, the final equation is y hat equal to 52.58. That means, the model involving x 1 and x 2 is the best uh, subset regression model 1.468 x 1 plus 0 0.662 x 2. So, the output of uh, the backward uh, elimination algorithm for the hauled uh, cement data is that uh, the subset model involving um, x 1 and x 2 uh, is the best okay, according to the uh, backward elimination algorithm. Uh, next, uh, we will be talking about the forward selection. Okay. Okay, so, what is the basic uh, motivation behind the uh, forward selection is that uh, uh, instead of you know in the backward elimination we started from the uh, full model and then in each step we try to uh, eliminate the less significant regressor from the model. And uh, in the forward selection what we do is that uh, we start from a model having no regressor variable. Okay. So, uh, so, initially there is no regressor in the model and then each time every in every step we we try to we try to find uh, the most significant regressor for the response variable and we add every step we add one regressor to the model. So, that is the you know, 
just opposite of uh, backward elimination. Okay, let me just uh, uh, write down the algorithm uh, now. So, the first step is that no regressor. in the model and uh, then you know all possible models. The first step is that the all possible models with one regressors are considered and an if statistic for each regressor is computed. That means, uh, if, if you have the if you have four regressor variable, uh, we will start with the we will consider the model uh, one regressor model involving x 1 uh, and then the regressor model involving x 2 only and then the regressor model involving x 3 only and then the regressor model involving x 4 only and then we uh, compute the f statistic value for uh, each of them and uh, the regressor having the highest uh, f statistic value uh, is added to the model. Anyway, I do not have uh, you know time uh, today, so better uh, I will I'll start uh, uh, this uh, uh, forward selection in the I will talk about this forward selection in the in the next class. Uh, thank you for your attention.